Today, we're going to demonstrate how to use the Pro Controller for Gilson's concrete compression machines. The Gilson Pro Controller has a 240 by 64 pixel screen and has a stainless steel Neiman 4 rated moisture and dust proof enclosure. This easy to use controller exceeds ASDM C39 and E4 standards for accuracy and displays in real time both load and rate of load during the test as well as peak load and average rate of load at the end of the test. To operate your Pro Controller for your compressive strength testing, you first power on the Pro Controller for 15 to 20 minutes before testing and then press the F4 setup key once the controller has warmed up and the compression machine is calibrated and powered on. Now, on the setup screen, select time, date. Use the arrow and number keys to set the time and date. Press the enter or print key when all entries are correct. Now press the menu button. Here, you have four options. Don't adjust the first three options. The first three options on the menu are factory configured. Only adjust the contrast. Once you have set the desired screen contrast, press save and exit. Next, press the units key to toggle through engineering units for load and rate of load. Available options on the Pro Controller are pounds, kilograms, newtons, and kilonewtons. In most situations, Auto Store should be turned on. This will allow you to retrieve your test results later. Now that we have set up the Pro Controller, we can run a compressive strength test. Weigh and measure the sample being tested and properly position it in the testing machine. Now press the key for sample ID. Press the up or down key to select letters or symbols. Use the clear key to correct any mistakes. Press the print key when all entries are correct. Next, press the tear key to zero the instrument. Now begin your compressive strength test. As the load on the sample increases, the value for peak load and average load will be displayed. After failure, the peak load and average rate of load will be displayed and stored within the Pro Controller if Auto Store was turned on. If Auto Store is turned off, be sure to record these values before pressing the tear key. The controller is now ready to begin the next test. Next, we're going to demonstrate how to transfer the data to a PC using the ABLE cable. Connect the serial connector to the serial cable on the Pro Controller and the USB connector to the computer. Open an Excel document. Select the first cell where you would like to write the data. On the Pro Controller, simply press the print key and all tests within the Pro Controller will automatically write to the Excel spreadsheet. After writing to the Excel spreadsheet, the Pro Controller will ask if you want to save or clear the test data. Make sure all necessary tests are saved to a spreadsheet application such as Excel before clearing the database. The Pro Controller can store test data from up to 600 tests. For any questions about the Gilson Pro Controller for compressive strength testing, or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson technical support team.